Good morning, good evening, or afternoon, depending on where you're watching or listening from. Welcome again to our weekly Watchtower prayer section with Bridging the Gap Interdenominational Fellowship with Wome Akintobi. Our topic this week, we're going to be talking about the power of the bed. You're wondering, um, the power of the bed. The bed is a very important place. The bed is a place of renewal. The bed is a place where God has actually made for us to be refreshed. A place where after a long day for us to rest, refreshed, and be renewed. But you know what? The Bible tells us in the book of um, Psalm 36, and I'm going to go in there. I'll turn your Bible with me to the book of Psalm chapter 36, verse 4. The Bible says in Psalm 36, verse 4, it says, He devises mischief upon his bed. He set himself in a very, in a way that is not good. He abhorred not evil. Also, turn with me to Micah. The Bible says in the book of Micah, I want us to get this very well before I explain the importance of the bed. He says in Micah chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, he says, Woe to them that devices iniquity and walk evil upon their bed. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in their power of their hands. Can you imagine? They have the power to do harm to anyone on their bed. Verse 2 says, And they covet fields and take them by violence, and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Praise the Lord. Can you see? People on their bed, the evil ones, on their bed, devices iniquity against the children of God. He says, woe to them that devices iniquity on their bed, the power of the bed. And so, brethren, do you know why you cannot go to bed anyhow? Why you cannot go to bed angry? Because you will make your mind a vital ground for a battle. You will make your mind a battleground for the enemy. As Christians, when you in understand the importance of the bed, you do not go to bed anyhow. You do not go to bed angry, irritated. You do not go to bed because you are angry at your husband. You are angry at that sister, at that brother. You do not go to bed because somebody has triggered something in you. Because the enemy is just right there. The word of God says, why men slept? The enemy so tires. Because you have made your mind a battleground for the enemy to attack. A bed is supposed to be a place of resting. A place where you sleep and the Lord gives revelation, instructions, and solution. It's a place of renewal. But the enemy has turned the bed to a bed of languishing for a lot of people. According to the book of Psalm 41, verse 3. But I pray today that your bed will be a place of renewal. A place where the Lord will strengthen and empower you. The enemy has turned the bed to a place, the dream life. On your bed is a place where you dream. And when you dream, you're supposed to dream and have revelation. But because a lot of people go to bed angry, a lot of people go to bed agitated, a lot of people go to bed because one sister, one person have triggered something in them. I implore you today, when you go to bed, go to bed refreshed with you because the Lord has made the bed a place of renewal for you in the name of Jesus Christ. All matter of battles and attack await the night. Many battles are launched are fought upon the bed, but a lot of this happened because our mind are viable, because we have made our mind available for attacks. 
And so when you understand the importance of your bed, the importance of why you do not go to bed anyhow, you will not be careless to just go to bed anyhow. You do not lose your peace over one sister. You will not lose your peace over something that is very tribal anyhow. You just don't trivialize things anyhow. When you understand over flim still excuses, over things that do not matter. The bed is a place of rest, like I told you. A place where God has ordained for you to receive solution to that matter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, when you understand this, the Lord will empower you the more and the more and the more in the name of Jesus. When you understand that God has ordained your sleep to be a place of blessing, your habits change. The way you go to bed will not be careless in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not take your sleep anyhow. You will go to bed renewed with flesh. And when you wake up, there will, be, there will be solution. And so I implore you from today, as that woman who is always on a watchtower, as that woman who is always on, in the place of prayer, you don't go to bed carelessly. As you sleep today, I pray for you that you will wake up empowered in the name of Jesus uh, to fulfill God's purpose in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you again for watching uh, the Watchtower Prayer Section uh, with Wumi Akintobi. Again, this is an opportunity to let you know that our monthly prayer uh, program is coming up starting here the 26th of this month. It is called when a woman arise, until a woman arise. So I'm employing you to join us 26th of September. We will let you know um, when everything is put together, we will definitely post it and invite you to our program. Again, this is an opportunity to invite you. Um, do you know Christ? Have you accepted him as your personal Lord and Savior? And so this is an opportunity. If you are yet to confess him, I want you to just say these short prayers with me. Dear God, I want to be part of your family. You said in your word that if I acknowledge that you are Jesus, that you are raised from the dead and accept you as my Lord and Savior, I will be saved. And so today I accept you as my personal Lord and our Savior. And I believe that you were raised from the dead and you are alive. I accept you tonight, this morning, this afternoon, depending on where you are, and accept you and accept salvation from sin right now in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for watching. See you another time next week. God bless you. Shalom.